marketers who have not started in on Hispanic specific communications, and, that, and that's not just running English language spots in general market shows that get some higher, slightly higher percentage of Hispanics or over index on Hispanics. That's not the same. You may be reaching Hispanics that way, but the way we term it is, is you're not really connecting with them. We believe the most important thing to do when you're approaching the U.S. Hispanic audience is talk to them in the language that unites all different facets of this very diverse group, and that's Spanish. Um, and we uh, spend a ton of time with advertisers who have not activated yet on Univision. That number is shrinking, uh, but it's still large. Um, we are absolutely growing our ad base uh, I think it's about 80 to 100 already this year, which is the fastest rate that we've ever done that. I think in part that's because our advertisers are starting to get that the U.S. Hispanic audience is probably the greatest growth opportunity that they'll see in their lifetimes. Um, it is a fully 20% of the population. It is driving a massive amount of the economy. Uh, first time home buyers are overwhelmingly driven now but the growth of first time home buyers by a US Hispanics. So in every category, I think you've got advertisers waking up to that fact that they need to, if they want to grow, they need to connect with the US Hispanic audience. It's it's really not different than politicians. If you want to win a political race in most parts of the country, you have to connect with this group as well. So we're talking to them about that. We have also talked to them. I mean, there's a ton of data to support this. We have an incredible strategy and insights group. We run a conference several times a year uh, called Leading the Change. And there's just a vast array of data about how in language and culture advertising increases return on ad spend. One of the things we, we just shared uh, is a report that we commissioned in uh, partnership with Nielsen. There's a white paper that's out. And we, we looked at not just the upside of Spanish language advertising, uh, but also the downside of not being there. And what Nielsen found was that clients who did not invest in Spanish language advertising had a 39% lower return on ad spend. Um, and that's just about connecting with the biggest growth opportunity in the US. Um, and if you're not doing it, you're not getting the return on your advertising that you need to. So, you know, we spend a ton of time with advertisers talking about those things. And we also spend a lot of time talking to them about that it's not as complicated or daunting as it might seem and that we have a lot of capabilities to help them get in there.